Second one we're going to do is a plus seven drill. And plus seven is more a scoring format that you can use with a variety of drills. So the most important thing is you understand the scoring format. We're going to do it as a left versus... No, that's, let me back up. We're not going to do it as a left versus left. Whitney, isn't it, here? Yeah. It's going to be you and Megan. That's a pretty good memory of mine here from yesterday. You two are the people that want to score the plus seven. We want them to get onto plus seven. The only way Whitney can get a plus point at a time is if she gets a kill on her side. If anybody else on her team kills the ball, it's a wash. If anybody on the team, including Whitney, makes an error, anybody, she gets the error. She gets a minus. She goes back. And it's the same for that side. And this is just left versus left. Now, the setter could set the left side player every single ball if they wanted to. It would probably kill them. So the setters have got to be smart in working out when sometimes to give the left a little bit of a break and set somebody else. But it's a great drill because... If you're swinging away and you're really working hard and some bonehead on the right side hits the ball into the bottom of the net, you get the negative. So it impacts on you. So let's play a couple and see if we can contrive a couple of situations here. So let's start, sir. Yeah, we'll do it off a serve. You can do it off a serve or a free ball if you want to make it a little bit quicker. All right, serve when you're ready. Is that in? Yeah. In. So Whitney would be on plus one. Okay, let's serve this end. We just alternate the serving, end to end. The idea is first to get to plus seven. Plus five if you want to make the drill a little quicker. Plus nine if you want to make it longer. Oh, so she's made a hitting error. That's a minus to Whitney. She's now back on zero. She was on plus one. She's now back to zero. And this end serving. New server. Right, she's back on plus one. You, uh, the question was, can you get negative? Absolutely, you can get negative, and that's when it gets bad. So let's say Whitney made another error then, for example. She would have gone from zero to minus one, to minus two, to minus three, and then she might start to pick the game up, get back to minus two, minus one, and then someone on her team makes an error. She goes back to minus two, minus three. So errors count for the hitter. Kills have to be made by the actual hitter to, to score the point. Anyone got a question about that? You understand that's, that's the scoring format. And why that's important is you can apply that to any drill you want to. So here we just did two left side hitters playing each other. You could have two middles playing each other. You could have, let's get set up here so we're in a 5-1 with the setter in the front row. Now we're going to set this drill up. It's plus 7. And it is the left and the middle on this side. And the setter has to get both of them to plus seven for this side to win. Or conversely, the same on that side of there. So let's start. Well, I'll put him in as a free ball this time, make it a little quicker. So it's the setter, the middle. Oh, so that's a minus over there. So because it's a hitting error, both hitters get a minus on that side. So they're now both on minus one. You guys are on zero. Here we go. It's free ball. That's down. So we would have people scoring here, and we would have uh, Hammy on zero, Whitney would be on plus one, and then we've got two minus ones over on this side. Right, ball in this way. Oh, another one. Now, that's a hitting error. Hitting errors count for the whole team. They're both now on minus two, zero, plus one, free ball. You need managers that can count for this one, or scorers. Plus one, plus one, minus two. Here, free ball. Yeah. So plus two, plus one, minus two on both that side. So you keep individual scores for each player. You get, the, the setter has to get both players to plus seven, or plus five, or whatever you decide the number is that they've got to get out on. And meanwhile, over there, they're struggling. They're on minus two, they're going backwards, and they've got to work their way up. And plenty of times, those people have ended up winning the drills from down minus two. It's a great drill for keeping everyone involved in the game. There's nothing like you doing your job, scoring your plus points, and then some other hitter on the team hitting the minus, which counts against you. So, question?
Okay, the, the question was, what's the end point when somebody gets a seven? It could be uh, either. The match could be over if you get to plus seven. Losing team, you're all on the same team, you all run. We could make people go, keep going. In this drill, where we have two people that we're scoring, we'll continue to get a ranking of the four hitters. So let's say Whitney finishes out here, she finishes on plus seven, and then the other hitters are on, let's say, plus six, plus five, plus four. Now we keep going to the next one gets to plus seven and then plus seven and plus seven, so you end up ranking all four hitters in that situation. Or you could just have the first person to plus seven wins. And it's, you know, it's a, we did it once with middles, where it nearly killed the middles, and it was a good lesson for the setters to spread the ball around a little bit, give them a break, come back to them. So there's a lot of aspects to this drill, but it's a scoring system that's the thing. The drill, you can just do however you want. We've done a, a back row and middle, a back row and left front. They're the only two that are in the game, so 